Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm back again and I've got two embellishments that we're going to make today because when I picked for the Mayhem, the May Mayhem Mystery Junk Journal Challenge, I picked the same thing for two embellishments, so we're going to make them both. I have a waterfall and a fabric flip with mystery. So we'll be making both of these and both of them need to have buttons, beads or bling wrapping paper and words so i've gathered my items i think i have an idea <laughs> what i'm gonna do let's go ahead and get to it so i've pulled some buttons i've got a little bit of bling i don't know which one i'm gonna use i've got my list because i need those i've got some paper there's my wrapping paper that we need i will be probably be using um the rainy day two two digital kit okay so this is the one that has has the words and quotes in it and i did pull out the word page and i've got this page so <laughs> yeah so i have a variety of things to choose from because you know we love choices i am going to be making a fabric flip so i do need some fabric so i've pulled out that awesome blue fabric and i'll have that I have the wrapping paper, some avocado dyed or onion skin dyed paper, and I have this scrapbook paper, okay? And I have another page from the digital, okay? So um, let's go ahead and we're gonna make the waterfall first. So I decided, you know, trying to come up with different ways of doing all the things. So we're going to do a waterfall that is not just uniform. All the pages are the same. Um, I'm going to go with, well, this is how much I had left. So we're going to use that. And then I want, and for this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just Put that down okay so just like that that's going to be um one of my pages <laughs> pieces of the paper in the in the flip okay um now i want this to be a little shorter okay now i had an idea about this remember the stickers that i have well, i was thinking we could use um we could use, how about these leaves? Or we could use this. You know what? Let's use that piece, okay? Because it's a little more, it reminds me of my mom with that, that green color. Okay, so I'm going to take this sticker and put it across. So, um... If you've made your washi tape, you could, your, your faux washi tape, I don't want the washi tape police coming after me, um, your faux washi tape that we're making in this, uh, in this challenge, you could go ahead and use some of that across there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I think I want this piece to be... Do I want it bigger? So this side here is the, um, the, the piece, the, um, yeah, I do want it bigger. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay. I can go ahead and Well, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. Okay? Fold this in half. Cuz I can grab another piece of wall uh, wrapping paper for the other for making the fabric flip. Okay. So I want I want this wrapping paper to be a little bit wider. And this side now is my flat side. Okay, so I want to make sure that I, I'm using a flat side. I want to go ahead Okay, 
Okay, and I'll be able to use this for something else. Okay, so there's my there's my piece. And I am going to want to be able to see some of that. I'm gonna go ahead and rip it across. Okay. So what's gonna happen is this piece is gonna go on top of that. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, and then this is gonna come underneath. Now what I want to happen here is I want, I'm, I'm gonna save this for a moment. And you guys, that's gonna be a, a good size piece for my fabric flip, so I don't have to worry about that. So I do want to have at least three pages. That's just me. At least three pages in my fabric flip, okay? Or in my fabric, in my waterfall. Oh my goodness gracious. So beautiful day today until, of course, we got wind. And um, so it was absolutely beautiful until we got, until the wind started. Okay, so what I'm going to want here is I'm going to come down and I want this to be, come lower, okay, lower than that. Okay, so I'm going to go right there. <laughs> And just for ease, I'm going to go all the way across. Ah, I'll be able to use this in other things, so it's okay. Okay, so, and I want this to go somewhere in between the two. So I'm going to fold that over, and there we go. I've got my... That's how I measure things. <laughs> how do you measure things? Do you... <laughs> Are you like a right-on measurer? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up and under. I love that. Now what's going to happen is this one's going to be short. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. It's still there, but it's short. And then this, I am going to go ahead and... Um, let's see. Where I need a, I need a paper. Because I'm doing eight and a half pages, right? My pages are eight and a half, so we can use this for a guide. Okay, so, and I want it to sit on my paper, just like that. And so this one, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up, and I want this, this bottom one to be a pocket. Okay, so that's going to be a pocket, like that. And now this, I have this, I have this large white area, I have this down here. So I'm thinking, you know, if I can find a digital that will go across here, maybe one of the ones with words. Yes, I am. This is me thinking out loud. <laughs> okay. Rain showers my spirit and waters my soul. You guys, these words will fit right on there, okay? And um, I, I really like that, okay? So, but I'm thinking maybe a little going up just a little bit, okay? Okay, so that you have... A break here yeah I like that okay so I'm gonna come over here and of course you know me I'm gonna rip this um, but I'm gonna cut this right here I might be able to use that for something else so I have a big pile of, <laughs> of random randomness up there I was thinking, you know, uh, digital with the picture, but this will fit on there and then I can put a digital with the picture 
over the top of the wrapping paper. So this, this journal, because of the wrapping paper and my flowers and beads, it's gone, it's gone in a different direction than I originally had planned for it to go. Okay, so if I put this down and then I put this on top of it, so you'll see the, yeah, I like that. Okay, I want to, um, I want to distress this. I think we'll go with the old paper because that's what we've been using. <laughs> I just stuck my finger right in the, the paper pad. Okay, so just... And I, I recommend by getting the, the little ones to see if you even like using Distress Ink. Um, because there was a period of time that, well, you, those of you that have been around for a while, you know that I am not huge on distressing. I am a lazy crafter and <laughs> I also like the brightness of the white paper. Okay, so now the other thing is, is I think this is going to need some color also. So we're going to go ahead and bring out our holy um, stencil, the polka dot stencil that I've been using. And this way I don't have to have it, it doesn't have to be covering everything, right? See? But I do want it to go off the edges. So how is everybody? How are you doing on your challenge? You guys, we have people that are like finished. <laughs> like done. I'm like, oh my gosh. I've got, I, I got, uh, well, when I started this one, I had eight done. Um, and, I, and I feel really good about having eight done. So only... <laughs> Only 17 more required. And it, there's a good possibility that I may only do 25 this month because, you know, I have um, other plans. And, well, and then also because of hurting. And I, I've, got, I've got other things going on. But here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now I'm going to make this a pocket because I love pockets and I cannot lie. And because it, it's going to go up underneath the next thing anyway. You can use it for a pocket or not. But I do want it to come down onto this line going across. Okay, there we go. So this is going to go up underneath there. Okay, so I have that going on. Now I've got this space. And so looking, <laughs> it changes what I was going to do a little bit. And that's okay. That is okay. We've got, let's see. I like the fan. I like... Ooh, they're kind of cute. There. Are they too tall? They could kind of go on the edge. They could kind of be like a little tuck space. Okay. So, yeah, so things don't have to be as they appear in a digital kit. That's actually why my digital kits are done the way they are, is so you have a huge variety of ways to use them. And so I'm going to go ahead. I think there's too much white showing there. I really like this card. Now it's a... Tuck, but 
Okay. Okay, so putting that there. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and come across and I'm gonna put that, yeah, I'm gonna come across like that. I just think that sticking up there looks odd. Okay, and we're on shiny paper that I haven't tried gluing anything on yet. So let's try our, we'll try this. So we have our words and we have our wrapping paper and we, ha we have used digitals. So this will be one of my 12 items that um, my 12 embellishments that I'm making using em em uh, digitals from Dear Julie Julie. And I think I, I think we only have one so far that I, I might not have used a digital in. So I'm over halfway, halfway done using digitals. That's, <laughs> that's cool. I did already make my required mini challenge in the challenge. That's cool. And I have eight done so far. After this video, I will have 10 of the re 10 required, um, elements finished so uh you're getting to pick 25 out of the 31 list if you're interested in information about the challenge um the details video link is in the description box down below so check that out um, come on over to the group after you have watched the video all your instructions will be in the video telling you what to do, where to go, and we look forward to having you join us. Okay, so there we've got a little tuck going on there, and um, I'm thinking that probably like, you know, a, something made out of like an index card or something can go in there, but this is my waterfall. Okay, I still need to add buttons, bling, or beads, but I do need to glue this together, okay? So what we do is we come down here and just like a flip-flop, we're gonna go ahead and give this back piece a gutter, okay? And then fold it back over, and then we'll add glue or tape, um, I'm using tape because I know that will that will stick. So this is double-sided tape. This is the the double-sided tape from Dollar Tree. It is on my 10 my list of 10 items that I love to get at the Dollar Tree. Have you seen that? Okay. So then I just stuck my fingers right on it. Um I'm going to Lay that over, and we're going to do it again. Okay, this time we're going to make this one a little bit smaller because it needs to, to fit in, and that other one needs to be able to go over it so that you can... Um... Ta -da! Just like that. So that you can uh, fold this up because if that wasn't... Um... This one wasn't a little smaller, it would get stuck on it, right? Okay, so here we go. Add our double-sided tape. It's going over it a little bit, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. It's just a tiny bit over, but we don't want things sticking. So I'm gonna come back and pull it over on itself. Okay, so just pulling it over on itself. So who has, who's doing a garden this year and how, how are things going in getting your garden ready? Okay, so I'm going to lift that up and put this into the crease. Okay, so now I have my waterfall. Okay, 
collection. I have this page here. And remember, I'm doing a, um, a pocket down here. We'll go ahead and we'll use the double-sided tape on this too. Okay, can you see that? Okay, so double-sided tape and a little double-sided tape. I found my favorite tomatoes, which are champion, are my favorite um, tomatoes. And I was able to find them at the little nursery right here. Okay, so I'm thinking I like that idea where the, the tag or something is going to go in here and it will hold this, hold this down. Okay, so here is my waterfall. I still need buttons, and um, I think I want to put them right here, possibly with some of the the joint tape underneath. Just a little piece of joint tape. Okay, so here's my my joint tape. Have you been able to find some? Okay, so we'll do one of the yellow. Um, I'm going to use my resist the sticky scissors. These are Teflon scissors. And we'll go ahead and cut that. And there you go. Okay, so now I did already thread a needle. <laughs> well, I was watching a video before this. So, so I went ahead and threaded a needle. And I'm going to look around and see, how about if we put a little piece of lace also underneath there? I'm, ju I'm talking just a little piece of lace, okay? So I'm going to put that under there. Oh, I need to cut that, that part off because it's um, bulky, okay? So there's that. And then I'm going to bring over... Let's go with one of the yellow buttons and green. Yeah, I think we'll do mama green. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go through Go through this once that way it'll all hold together <laughs> you know what I'm gonna just close my button off and then I'll put it I'll use fabric tack okay we're having we're struggling here make sure it can get through the hole hmm Oh, there goes our sprinklers. Okay, so we'll... And that way, you could have these already ready. And because of the lace, I'll be able to... And the thread... I'll be able to put this down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just tie it off. So I've gone with the April showers, bring May flowers, both, both um, themes, okay? So you could have April showers, or you could have May flowers, or you could have both together for this month's challenge. And, um, okay, so I do have a fabric tack right here. Yeah, we're gonna try that and see if that'll that'll help our 
our little problem that we have sometimes. And there we go. We've got a button with some lace. This is our waterfall and I love it. Now I did, when I was looking through stuff, I found this bling. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and also add this little piece of bling right here. And I got I got four dots. I usually do just dot dot dot, but that's okay. Got it. Got got an etc. to our etc. There we go. So we've added some bling and buttons. Okay. So wall or wrapping paper buttons bling. So you were to do buttons, beads, or bling and words. And my waterfall is ready to go into my journal and giving us more journaling space or putting, if you want to put pictures or something in here, um, that is going to work really well for that. We do have this little spot as well that um, something can go in. And I love it. I love it. I love it. So we've got a place here that something can go eventually as well. And so let's move on. And we are now going to make our fabric flip. And so our fabric flip with mystery. And again, we need to use the buttons, beads, and bling or bling wrapping paper and words okay so um wrapping paper there's our piece of wrapping paper that we're going to use and you know we've got this so i think we can use this i'm, I'm thinking of putting this underneath our fabric flip but that you know that is it, it's a mystery but we do that all the time so i'm not going to consider that a mystery and let's see okay so we'll go with um this will give me something that i can use later possibly and now let's go ahead and we'll cut Cut this, okay? And we can use that so it can go up in the up in the loft. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. So we've got that. Okay, and we have this piece. Okay, so this is more of a stack of note kind of ideas what I'm what I'm looking at here. Just wanting to get the variety. Okay. And I like the messy look. So whoops. So, but I want to get it put together. So this is what's going to be underneath the fabric flip. Okay, again, kind of like the waterfall, using the same type of pieces. But I have, I have this little goodie, this, um, the fan. I'm going to go ahead and cut the fan off. Okay, so we're gonna fussy cut, fussy cut the fan. So don't forget on Friday, we will have our Friday fun day. Uh, we will choose the winners from everybody that's done the thing. 
So do the thing. When I say that, that is commenting on any Dear Julie Julie video. So if you decide to binge watch, um, you know, previous May Mayhem and you comment on all the videos, that's great. And so somebody will automatically, whoever has commented on the most Dear Julie Julie videos um, during the week since uh, last Thursday, which is when I made my list. I usually make the list on Thursday. Um, so everybody that has commented, they, um, they get put in a little goodie and um, we draw from Siri. Siri does it. She does it because, you know, she's, she doesn't play favorites. <laughs> okay, so this is, this is going underneath. Let's go ahead and give that a paper clip. We'll come back to it. And um, so let's go ahead and build our fabric flip. I wanted to make sure that I was going to be um, the right size. So that is why... I was doing that that way. Okay, so what I want to do is I I do want to see what's under here. I don't that is not my mystery this time. Okay? But I'm going to come over and I'm going to come to here and I'm going to fold this in half. Okay? So I'm going to fold that in half and I am going to give this a cut. And a rip. Well, <laughs> a cut and a rip. Okay. And that's going to give me a nice folded piece, except for the fact that the top is not straight. So I'm going to cut, <laughs> cut it and do that. Okay. So there's my wrapping paper. Um, okay. Okay, so this is going to fold over like this. Okay. And then I want this to come and I want it to lay right ab above um, where the, the, the three bottom pieces are. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and rip it, rip it good. Okay. So that gives me that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, um, you know what I'm going to do because yes, I love pockets and I cannot lie. So we're going to put a pocket in here. Okay. You know, I'm really thinking I want this on the very top. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I want that on the top. And that's that's fine. Okay, so I need some wrapping paper. And we have this wrapping paper. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll... Make us a little paper ruffle out of our wrapping paper. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take this over to the sewing machine and sew it. I'll be right back. So using the wrapping paper, we have a paper ruffle. I'm thinking a little, like a collage down here. Um instead of this putting a collage down here i do need some words and so that would give me some words that would give me some flowers so words words is one of the things we have to have here's an umbrella We've got a little tiny butterfly. 
So like a little, putting a little collage on here is what I'm thinking. And then we need a, button okay so yeah so let's go ahead and I'll get my button sewn so that's wrapping paper words and button on a fabric flip I still have to make my mystery and so um so watch for that and I'm probably going to maybe use some more um oh well I don't need the I was going to say oh we didn't put any lace well we really don't okay this is it doesn't want to fit through that one might need to make a bigger hole okay will it go through this one Oh, I need a smaller, a smaller needle. Well, I can at least do this. Okay. I like having my buttons closed off or sewn. So you get that extra texture. I'll just it's okay we, we've got the the thread that we can use to attach okay so let's go ahead and we'll make our um, our collage here okay and we'll move that, move these. Okay, there's that. I love to collage. It is one of my favorite things to do. I think it's really fun to to add a variety of things. Tell a story. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set my... I'm using the, th the fabric tack. And now we'll add the butterfly. So these are all little pieces that I cut the other day. Fussy cut. <laughs> And um, I'm going to put the, the button right down here, okay? I'm going to cut a little bit of this tail off. I'm going to set that. Okay. I think we need a little bit bigger puddle to help hold the thread. Okay, so there we go. Pretty pink button. So I'll have to find a smaller needle to be able to use those. But that's okay. I like it. Okay, and then I think we'll come over here and nah, I was going to add a little bit of the bling, but I don't like it. Okay, so we need our mystery and our mystery is going to be a pocket. But at the same time, I want to be able to get in and out of the pocket. So I'm actually thinking that we might need something coming off the edge that helps us get in and out. So our wallpaper may go on our pocket. I think our wallpaper is going to go over here, you guys. 
Yeah, I think our wallpaper is going to go over here. <laughs> it's my prerogative. I can change my mind. I can change my mind. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and put our glue here. And then I'm going to come over and I'm also going to put it along here. And that's to help keep it in the pocket. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and close the pocket. Okay, so mystery is where you give the embellishment a job and this one's job is going to be to hold something in that pocket okay i'm thinking probably one of the embellishments that i have to make with a file card okay oh i like it i like it a lot okay so now we need to kind of just put the rest of the rest of it together so i'm not going to put this up on the top okay I may put this up on the top, but I'll play with that here in a minute. Let's go ahead and put the rest of this together. And so this time we are a stack of note, okay? That is different than the other that we did where we were a, um, the waterfall, we put in like flip-flop pages this we're just going to glue them in okay just stack them on top of each other <laughs> there is a little bobble like a bead a pearl or something on my hair tie and <laughs> it keeps moving and it's really silly and annoying okay so there's that Okay, it all goes like that. And I didn't I didn't move the big one over far enough, but you know, that's okay. We'll... That will drive me crazy. So we'll cut it down. I like that we have some of it hanging out around the outsides. Remember, this is going to come on top of here and we'll still have the messy down there, which I really like. So here we're gonna go ahead and come across and add our flip with a mystery, which is our pocket, okay? So remember this time your um, embellishments do not all need to go into your um, finished journal. But you do have to have a finished journal that is using some of them. Okay, so this is going to be a little pocket and we'll be able to put something in there like possibly... something that has a little tab that'll stick out. I love it. So this flips up and then these all flip up. You can add more if you want. And this is ready to go into the journal. Um, I think we'll wait until it gets put into the journal to see if it needs something across the top here. I really like it. We've got our words, we've got our button, and we've got our um, wrapping paper all on the fabric flip. And it's mystery is it has a pocket right here. And so instead of just adding a pocket to the back, we folded the fabric over and I love the way that turned out. So, I mean, it can be such a mystery that that's actually inside the pocket. So fabric flip and 
our waterfall using wrapping paper, buttons, and words. Which one's your favorite? And are you are you following along and doing what I'm doing? Because I'm seeing uh, several that are using like the same same things on their items, and and that's been really fun. So let me know. I'd love to know. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget Friday is fun day, ten thirty live Pacific Standard Time, right here. Be on time. Hint hint. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.